receiving a hero's welcome. This was the scene outside Musallam al-Barraq's family home on Friday, when the opposition leader made his first public appearance since he was sentenced to five years in jail. Barak was found guilty by a Kuwaiti court of insulting the country's ruler, Amir Jabir al-Sabah. The conviction is for a speech given by the former MP late last year, in which he accused the Amir of increasing his personal wealth by $150 million. The speech, entitled We Will Not Allow You, challenged the ruler and the government who have been pushing ahead with constitutional changes which the opposition rejects. There have been several large demonstrations here over the past few months, with protesters demanding greater reform and an opposition to what some view as the government's curtailing of democracy and freedom. On more than one occasion, the demonstrations turned violent, with security forces firing tear gas, sound grenades and rubber-coated steel bullets. Using thugs to put down the opposition is of no use, nor the excessive use of force against civilians. The ongoing standoff appears to have created a degree of polarization. Earlier this year, parliamentary elections were boycotted by the opposition, and there are those who believe Barak and his supporters do not have Kuwait's interests at heart. There wouldn't be any healthy um, dialogue. I mean, we welcome, we would welcome such dialogue. But the man just keeps giving excuses for no reason, keeps erupting issues, saying that we are deprived. Of what? Can you define it? None. Can you state it? None. Can you put an evidence for what you call has been an unjust or unjust system? None. A court will hear Musallam al-Barraq's appeal on Monday. But according to the opposition leader, the issue is much greater than him. Our demand is to reform the system, not overthrow it. But it seems reforming the regime is more difficult than overthrowing it. The case of Musallam al-Barraq exemplifies the crossroads that Kuwait is currently at. If he wins his appeal and is set free, then that could bolster the opposition's position, potentially allowing them to raise their demands. If, however, he fails to win his appeal and is sent to jail, then the government could find itself facing an angrier and possibly even more violent opposition. Jamal al-Shayyal, Al-Jazeera, Kuwait City.